Hello. Hi, everybody. We're back in Halo. I've forgotten which option I've got to pick. Uh, playlist. <clears throat> I'm being taken already. Huh? Take me down to the Halo Ring City. Hit resume for the longest mission on Earth. Okay. Aboard the Truth and Reconciliation. Truth and Reconciliation. Such a good, good name for a ship. Part time is twenty minutes. Yep. Oh my goodness. Told you, be a long one, and it's confusing. Great, love that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Purple Hall Simulator. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, purple. You can enable modern aim control for more consistent experience. Oh. Which I think is their polite way of saying you can turn auto aim on. <clears throat> Do you remember why we're on this mission? Later. Captain Key. I do like that when they do like these remaster collections, uh, like uh, Sparrow, the Sparrow one was the same, where they kind of unify the controls between all of the games. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implant. All right. Right. Snap your time. Get him, Marines. Go, go, go. Snap the ain't paying us time. So you can zoom in, as you remember with the sniper, but you can also turn on a night vision, which puts a green filter on, which does nothing. Okay, I don't. Uh, press G when zoomed in to activate night vision. Ooh, it's green. See, now available in green. Uh, of course, it's because it's their flashlight button. Element of surprise. Right, we're heading through this ridge. Play it on the old graphics. Because it removes the grass. That's one dead. See, they still run around, but they haven't actually been alerted yet because no one has seen us or survived one of our shots. I see. It's really weird. That it's like, I don't quite know why they tried to program this in. Oop. It's... Let him have it. The music right. started, I'm so I'm like, have we been discovered now? Yeah, yeah, we've been discovered. But that's just part of the mission. One of these days, I am actually going to have to take you through uh, the mission on Call of Duty 4, as much as you hate Call of Duty. Because Gillies in the Mist was a mission and a half. Yeah. It was just, it was just, a, I mean, there's a reason why Call of Duty took off and it was because of Call of Duty 4. People played that and they were like, this is fucking sick. Big machine gun fire! A grenade. <laughs> Why are they going at the moment? Right, it's this one. Man, the skybox looks pretty in the new version. It does. It's very and pretty. Dark sky. in the old version. <laughs> dark as blouse. That guy, ow. Missed. Missed again. Missed the third time. Yep, I'm good with this. <laughs> Snipers were never my thing. I'm more of a standard issue kind of guy, or doing stuff like that. Why remove the gunner when you can remove the gun? Get him. I do, I do okay with the sniper. Out. 
chill. Come back, please. I love you. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Yeah. That's a dead bunny. I was shooting a dead bunny. I'm just going to get rid of this fucking sniper. I can't use it. <clears throat> I got a decent grenade arm, but snipers I just can't do. Can he do? Can he do? Can he do it, Captain? <clears throat> just looking around. One would think night vision would be built into the Spartan armor set. This is true. Why, why is it on the gun and not say part of the helmet? Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone did do a deep dive on like the Master Chief's armor, the Mjolnir set, and uh, based on the fact that this is set in the year 2552, it's shit, because we nearly have this kind of technology now. The only thing we're really struggling with is the exosuit, uh, the exosuit part of it. Other than that, we have quite a fair bit of the technology that goes into the suit. So, nice. Thank you. I guess it's one of those things where it's like if they think it, it, you think it's nice and cool and futuristic, but when you actually look at it, and it's like it's how many years in the future? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Based on how quickly we are advancing stuff now, I just threw a grenade and no one gave a shit. How did they not hear that? Who's to say? Oh, drop, drop ship. Energy weapons will slowly break a jackal shield as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I think I did see that pop in just a little bit then. Carry okay, you. Took care of you. Uh, I got a couple of them. So you're not doing too bad. Yeah, I'm doing okay with the sniper rifle. And here we have invisibility. Under the ship now. Yes, I had noticed. Ooh, ooh. The Covenant use a gravity lift to move yeah. troops and supplies Active between the ship and the surface. As it's actually called. To ambush them at the now that's cool. That's futuristic. The lift to enter the ship. Yeah. They made active camera a little weird in the newer versions, I suppose, to balance it for multiplayer reasons. So it's like if you move, the active camo fades away, so you can still kind of be seen through it. Which is like, I get it, but, you know, it's like, you do kind of need it more for moving than for staying still. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Cover, 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 cover. Got another shade tourist over there shooting at. Just send a flurry of shit over in their general direction. Oh, I took out one of the turrets. Am I taking out the other one? Is it dead yet? I think it's dead. <laughs> Is it it's gone? Not, it's not moving. I think it's dead. Cool. Wow. Ah, so that's the elevator. <laughs> Just immediately take out the blue guy and they all freak out. Just like, Alert! Covenant dropships are inbound. Alert! Covenant dropships are inbound. It's always something. Is that where this is from? Because I do know that line. Uh, possibly, I mean, this is an old game. I do, I do, I do hear and sometimes say myself, it's always something. Ooh. You got those little guys? You good? Yeah. Okay, that 
that was bad. That was bad on me. All the bad shots. Nice. Throw a grenade, you fuckers! Yeah, got all of them. Another cool thing about this game is that if you see a grenade on the floor and you shoot it, it will explode. Oh. Very small detail, but very important. I don't need. We good? I think so. Nope, more are coming. Oh yeah, these guys. New enemy. Oh, these yeah, big bastards, these big bastards. Say hello to the hunters. They always travel in pairs, and when you kill one of them, the other one becomes enraged. Are they in love? Uh, I don't know. They're actually worm creatures. Ew. <laughs> Would you they still are... love me if I was a worm? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I got one. I'm guessing the other one's angry. Ah! Oh, thank you. Shot him. I have no health. Cortana to Echo 419. We've reached the gravity lift and are ready for reinforcements. Would you still love me if I was a worm? Yeah, they're actually really disgusting creatures when you get down to their biology. Like, all the armor and stuff that they have is held together by literally hundreds of thousands of worms. Yeah. That is, that is what they are, they are worm creatures. So what you're saying is, is they're like the mollusks in the, uh, dungeon, delicious dungeon, that live in the suits of armor. Yeah. Well, you can see, you can kind of see if you get up. If you turn the old graphics on, the sort of orangey membrane stuff, that's what they actually are. Oh. And everything else is just armor. I believe they're the most recent addition to the Covenant as well. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it there in between all foliage. Spooky during the question. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of um, Warforged because Warforged have like, you know, are meant to be bits of metal but with like plant like veins and stuff which is why they're alive yeah Ooh, a wraith <laughs> let me in the wraith cause so much damage in this thing man i'm um probably not going to be able to snipe as much in here but also i'm almost out of sniper uh ammo ow fuck <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was coming, but I wanted you to see him first hand. <laughs> I, did, I did see the shimmer, so I saw he was there. Someone clip that, please. I just fucked. Whoa! I even hit him with a plasma pistol shot. He did not give a fuck. No I lost him again. I lost him again. That's over there. Gonna keep coming at us in waves, I think. Oh! Have one of them, you fuckers. I love it when you get a multi kill with a sticky grenade. Satisfying. Get him! Oof, taken out. Get out of it, you guys. <laughs> oh wow, his body just slid yeah. across the floor. <laughs> hey, leave some Whoa! Whoa, okay. That sounded a bit close behind me. Checkpoint done. Right, let's find him. Yep, here we go. Oh, this is it. oh. Whoa! Ow. Ow, blue! Sorry, but at least he's dead. <laughs> so am I! <laughs> you just shot through him! That means the bullet went through him. Look! He is dead. 
I'm mimicking his pose. <laughs> so what you're saying is I got a double kill. Ow. I'll kill you in a minute. Yeah, right, now that go. there's no grass, I can see all the like gross stuff in between. Yeah. 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 Better yeah. <laughs> Saw shimmer and you died. Doors locked, sir. I exploded. We could use the side passages to find a way around. We'd be safe in narrow space. You can hold this position if you can find a way around and open the door from the other side, Chief. Chief, let's see if we can find a way to open this door. Open the door. I mean... Is this, this one because it's green? Is this one because it's green? Got it. It fell over! Safety issue at work. <laughs> Welcome to the Purple Corridor Simulator. Purple Corridor! <laughs> and if you look at it on the old graphics... Oh wow, that's very purple. Okay, they toned yeah. down the purple. Wait, that's the locked door down there. The Marines are waiting on the other side. See, I know you say that there's like Marines on the other side as if it's a reinforcements, but I feel like we should kill everything first so that the Marines are safe. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, the, we're the chief, you know? Rid of that fucker. Oh, I'm gonna be out of sniper ammo soon, so I'm gonna have to get a different weapon. Pick off a couple of the stragglers. And that's my last one. Guessing there's probably not going to be a lot of uh, sniper ammo on, the, on an alien ship. <laughs> no, you might find a few stragglers' bodies of people who were aboard that died, but. Usually you find the guns themselves, you don't usually find the actual little ammo blocks. Then I should probably just get rid of this. What one is it again? E? For what? Oh, yeah, hold it. Swap it. Hold it. E. Yeah, and swap for a needler. E. Now with the modern graphics, you can actually like see. That old light did fuck all. Yeah, that really is illuminating nothing. More just of like a picture of the idea of a light. <laughs> it's interesting how in the old graphics, the needler, it's almost like they're like crystals filled with like a gas, but in the modern one, it is literally just crystals. I think they are meant to have gas in them. I think it is meant to be the gas that, like, combines with more of its gas and the oxygen that explodes. Ooh. <laughs> he exploded! <laughs> His head actually came on backwards! Oh my oh, god! wow! What did you do to him? <laughs> I filled him full of needles! I love using grenades in these tight corridors. Hello! Mm -hmm. Oh, we're back, back here again. Huh. See, this room's blue, not purple. Is it this one, or is this the door we came in? I think that was the door that we came Yeah, there's a dead body in here, so it's not this one. So that means oh. it's the other one? It's down here. There's another green door. Ah, the green. This one's also full of dead bodies, though. Oh, which way do you reckon? Let's go this way. You've seen this way? 
This heading way. down into the bowels of the ship. We found more red. God, I love grenades. Get my face. Yeah, like that. Action replay. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh, I think you, just, you hit it. You must have hit a trigger then. <laughs> oh, this is a big. This is one of the hangers. Ooh, big room. Punch the shit out of it. Ooh. Plasma rifle, nice. Very faintly hear the music as well. Now this is the old radar, so you can see that there's enemies like around us, but most of them are above us. Right, we see. Because they didn't include in this one. Get out of it. Uh, an up and down system. In the later games, you have a red triangle that points up or down if they're above or below you, and a circle means they're on the same level. In this game, there's just circles. Found an overshield over here, love. You're right over there. Yeah, I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with this red guy. Where was the shield? Uh, it's over by one of the pillars. Over by that pillar, over there. Right, no one was near that. <laughs> oh, you didn't jump far enough. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow. Good night. Look, you're blowing up a lot of stuff. Yeah, the needle is fun. <laughs> I am back. Up! Oh! More of them! Ouch. I have no grenades. I wish I had grenades. Grenade! Oh, that took most of my shield. I'm gonna hide here for a second. Over here. I'm being chased, I feel like I'm being chased. Oh yeah, you're being chased. One of them's dead. I just punched one of them in the back of the head and he fell over. Nice. Can we go yet? Bomb! Are we done? Are we done? Got it. Got someone's gun I can steal. I'm out of needle around. <laughs> I, that it won't I want more of the pink juice. More pink, please. I guess I'm taking this instead. Plasma. Okay, that was I, mean, I was prepared for there to be something around the corner, so I just held down the button. That kind of shot you did was used to take out tanks. You just took a grunt's face off with it. <laughs> Wasn't me. Hello, sir. <laughs> he slid. 
Well, there was a needler up here. I don't know where it is now because the room blew up. That was a repeat of the. Uh, Look, Rope, a Gordon. So that was uh, a repeat of the uh, bit from the other game where I saw a grenade and I just kind of stared stared at it for Whoa. a couple of seconds while my brain went, "That's a grenade." <laughs> That was an invisible prey. That's a door, love. Again, <laughs> well I, just, I just expect the door. there to be people around the corner, so I just held down a shot and fired it the moment I went around the corner. Blue, the killer of doors. Doors could be dangerous, you don't know. They're alien doors. that guy in the face. Ow! What the fuck? Oh, I left one of you alive. Why are you two bullying the elites? Because they deserve to be bullied. There's someone down beneath us or something. Why am I getting red? <laughs> that was a bit mean. Can't, then I can't tell if I killed anything then. Operation clear tactics. <laughs> Stop talking about still kill stealing. Who are you, Stanji? <laughs> I can't believe you stood next to that grenade. That has a really long cooldown in this game. <laughs> really telegraphs the fact that there's a grenade next to you. Whee! And then it blows up a few hours later. I just sat on it, cooking it like an egg. Yeah. Oh, that was a far too ambitious grenade. Ooh, lots of things are blowing up. How did you survive that? Just that good. By the orders of the Holy Prophets, kill the demons! I got a flu. Come behind us. Oh fuck. No. Hey, hey, leave some for me. Saved your life. Yes. Ooh, is that a needler? <laughs> <laughs> Blue's true lord and saviour. Auto aim and explosive combine. <laughs> Look, I said when we started the, this game that I'm generally a fan of the uh, spray and prey tactics of playing shooters. That one's red, so we probably don't go that way. I'm an elite simp. What, your words, not mine. This guy was just having a nap. And you woke him up to shoot him in the face. You didn't just take him out while he was asleep. I thought he was yeah. already dead. I want to look him in the eyes. Oh! Something got me. Oh, sword dude. A sword? X sword dude. Special gold elites that in the old edition look brown and in the new editions look white. Oh, weird. Ooh! Plasma and needles don't mix well. Yeah, I have now learnt that. What's the- ooh, what did you find? The ship's command center. The captain's transponder signal- Ah, uh, you're gonna master the crouch close. jump. The what jump? Crouch jump. What jump and crouch. Make it at this one. Huh. This one. Oh, you probably could from this little ledge. Yeah, you can make it up from that one. Interesting. Whoop! The lore! Is that a thing that looks important? 
A date that means nothing to me. In the year 2000 and heck. Never made, but you are right here, where you should not be. Tell your charges to cease their efforts immediately. Quarantine must not be violated. Quarantine? Oh no. Construct, respond! Jungle grass. Familiar terms. I serve. Your charges must cease all aggression towards the reclaimers and leave this installation at once. Construct, you are dangerously close to unleashing a force you cannot comprehend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is most inappropriate. We Explain yourself. I know their path, and when they are gone, only I shall remain, and then free. This is quite unsatisfactory, Construct. Your core shows no hint of understanding the gravity of this situation. I will return later for your proper decommissioning. Well, unless the flood kills us all first, in which case the point will be moved. Good day, Construct. Uh-huh. Stuff and things. Stuff and things! Yeah, you're right, Benny. I was just sat there just like, uh-huh, those sure are words. Don't upset the magical ball. He looks like Wheatley. I'm gonna punt him. What's interesting is that in the later games, the jackals have their shields on the other arm. Really? Hmm. I don't know if that was ever addressed as to why. I don't know. It sounds like the kind of thing that would be like a mechanical change rather than like a law thing. Or maybe it is a law thing. Have to look it up, I suppose. The flood. What are we having a shower? I don't know, do I? <laughs> Secret down here. Some range on it. Oh. That's the time when I wish I had my sniper rifle. Oh, we found like a prison cell. Get fuck! So it disappears. Apparently, I, this is not a thing I can interact with. Apparently. Oh. About time you showed up. Hey, we found someone. Here hey, you there he you is. Know better than this. Thanks. He's not dead. Right. Lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay, yes, sir. When I played this with Stanji, we killed each other so much that my dead body was on that plinth right behind him. <laughs> Ring world. They call it Halo. Halo! Title drop. According to the data in their networks, the Ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. Covenant kept saying that 
Whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. Mm. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Chief, nice. the point. I love it when Marines hold weapons because you can really see the size difference That's between say, that like, the elites and us. in his hand. Well, these are weapons that are supposed to be designed for the elites to use, and the elites are about, I think, nine to twelve feet tall, something like that, or nine, nine to ten feet. Posing in front of me. Oh. He was asserting his dominance. I think I shot this one. Careful, blew this corridor full of grenades. Ta-da! You're supposed to blow up with the grenade. Read the script! <laughs> Come on. Keep it up. I stuck his leg. What the? There it is! I don't know anyone's already dead. The ship is full of flying grunts. I don't know how to keep coming. Hello? Hello? Another piece on. There's nobody in here. Ooh. Nobody important. I was performing CPR. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. I had him ran the wrong way. There's a med kit in this one. That's unfortunate. He died so close to the med kit. Don't let keys die. I'll try not to. Oh, you do it. Oh, explosions. Here, save a little extra for you. Purple <laughs> corridor simulator. Itchy eye. Those corridors do be purple. Now we're back oh. in here again. Yay! Bet you love the jackal snipers, especially on Halo 2, says Bennett. The jackal snipers on Halo 2. <laughs> How to so... not have fun the game. <laughs> he was so angry that the start of his sentence cut out. <laughs> you made it. Cortana to Echo 419. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative, Cortana. I've been engaged by Covenant Air Patrols and I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Sorry. Ooh, elbows. Finding your own ride, Cortana. you say? Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. Oh man, we're trapped in here. We're screwed. We're screwed, man. Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a Leatherman. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those Covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. You know how to fly a Covenant dropship? There's a Covenant dropship still docked. Open the door. Close the door. <laughs> Oh, no. 
He had just a second to scream before he died. <laughs> Two words, Sniper Alley. Apparently. Yeah. I know which bit he's on about as well. The Jackal Snipers in Halo 2, especially on Legendary, as soon as they saw you, they just took a shot. You, re you had to kill them before their bodies, like, turned. It was it's fucking nuts. Second for things to acknowledge, to acknowledge that I pressed them. Everybody, yeah. Mount up. Let's get on board. How do you know how to fly this? It's alien technology. As I have found out from Halo 3 ODST, they uh, they do run simulations on captured ships. Oh. Uh oh. I don't I don't quite know why she says that on this bit. Like, what are they gonna do? Nice one, that was <laughs> sick. <laughs> In reality though, hunters are anti-vehicle, they're not anti-ship. <laughs> they're not gonna do jack shit to a spirit, for fuck's sake. But, oh no, they fired their fuel rods, whatever shall we do? The Ooh. Covenant believe that what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island. The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out quick. Touchdown! Hit it, Marines! Uh, go, go. Pistol time! Fucking marching up the beach. Yep. Walk with determination and purpose. That's what Doug said. <laughs> Have a grenade under your feet, you fuckers. Fucking hell, the, uh, the ships that dropped us off hadn't even left yet, and we've already made it. <laughs> How many bits to shoot Spook or throw him off the ship? Hello. Look, it's a puma! <laughs> Ooh! That's not a cat. Drop it! <laughs> I'll catch it! I can see the PTSD in Spook's eyes. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. And uh <laughs> oh, there's no horn okay, in this game. Move out. Aww. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Head on a swivel then, Blue. What a nice ocean. Oh, on a swivel for enemies. Yeah. Ooh. Big shit. Apparently, we gotta get inside this thing. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna stop then and go, there you go, parks. Alright, there you go, Blue, just aim down that corridor. It needs to be slightly to the side, I can't quite see the corridor. I'm just gonna keep shooting, okay? Eh, 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 eh. Just be really careful not to also shoot you. Pause! 
Continue! <laughs> Pause. The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The Clear. must be here. My analysis indicates that the legit strategies. Flip that. Let's keep going inside. <laughs> Get parked, spook. I'm gonna park this mid digit up your backside in a minute, PK. <laughs> now the speedrunners, they bring the warthog in here so they can skip most of this level. I think Don't you showed me that video once. That was a grenade. Yeah, you he can sure get was. through that door in time and skip out I most of the level. The Damn nice. Standing of Halo subsystems. It is hard to pull off, they and I've never doors, done it. And we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to key. Oh, look, needless. <gasps> needless. Go ahead, Cortana. Uh, I'll keep the pistol for now. The control center. Eventually, I'm going to run out of ammo for it. The Covenant have impeded our progress. Lock it. Lock it. This installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the company. Go around that way, can you? Okay. Echo 419 to ground teams. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant bogeys. Eggies. Oh, I'm gonna grab that blue. Ooh. Are you in? Need to find the security override to get this door open. Find the override. Ow. Oh, a ramp. It looks like there is a path into the interior of Whee! the. Good driving, Spit. Always keep moving in a warthog. That'll teach them. Right. We cannot get the warthog up ahead. Oh. I know. We have to come back for it later. Marine, stay there. Remember where we parked. Man, it is so dark on the old graphics. Oh, wow, it is. What the hell? They not know what lighting was back then. I mean, they probably didn't, actually. I mean, they put a lot of effort into putting like a flashlight and stuff in the game, but it's like, I cannot see fuck. I'm fighting blue enemies on fucking blue grass in night. I'm going to be ditching this pistol in a minute. Well, don't ditch it just yet. I mean, I've, I know I've, I've got a very little point. ammo left on it. I'll have to switch to this. Now, you see these guys. What? <laughs> Yeah. There, was, there was not like an oversight, but there was definitely a design in this game where if you shoot them in the bat, in the spinal column with a pistol, they die in one hit. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> wow! Yeah, they took that out in all the later games because at first they were like, oh, if you find the weakness and you kill them, then it's like a reward, but it's like, it's a little too easy to do. I see. Oh, yeah, you can kind of literally see the spot on the back, which I guess is the bit that you shoot. I'm guessing it's that yeah. bit there. Counts as a headshot, but only in this version, only in Halo Combat Evolved. I've still got a little bit of shield left, so I can't technically pick this up. <laughs> Gee, thanks. There you go. The hell? Hey. Only I'm the one who does the shooting. These are going to be new redeem noises, I think. After you can do the same with a sniper rifle, apparently. 
Yeah, any precision weapon. Because I suppose that is something that is um, different to this game as opposed to like Counter-Strike, is that an assault rifle is not a precision weapon, so it cannot actually score headshots. Ah. Uh, there's a bunch of shields here. That's ominous. Ooh, ominous ambience. So what are these things? Are they like drop pods? Or are they like storage containers or something? Storage containers for weapons. Well, fuck that up. I'm not very good at getting this precision shot. <laughs> <laughs> Considering that I'm okay with the sniper, I'm very bad at getting this precision shot with this pistol. I love the architecture for the forerunner structures. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. And I like how they've they've revamped it. Like the old the old one was, you know, just kind of dark right, yeah. space age sci-fi stuff of like your. It looks in like the a, it looks like a concrete bunker in the old one. Yeah, concrete slash titanium. But you look at it in the new one, you're like, oh, this is like a complex. This was built with purpose. I mean, obviously this came first, but it reminds me of the um, architect Use stuff the from um, Subnautica. Mm. They're probably inspired by this. Well. That's fairly faithful, actually, in the old graphics as well. Wish they did the Good. same in Halo 3. Ooh, that look at this guy. The door that leads into the main shaft. Oh, I see what you mean, Bennett. I was going to say, I was like, I'm pretty sure the Forerunner structures are like this in Halo 3. Yeah, I, mean, I, I do wish they would do an upgraded um, graphics for Halo 3, because they did an upgraded graphics for Halo 2, and that looks beautiful. And the cutscenes they did in Halo 2, they completely redid them. The, the cutscenes in this one, because they're all in-game stuff, they just put the same layer, you know, new textures over, which is yeah. really nice. But in Halo 2, they actually, like, redid the cutscenes so they, oh, nice. they they follow the same Where like we audio mayday, mayday. yeah we're heading back the same way uh oh john understood we're on our way so yeah carry on yeah but in halo 2 they follow the same like time frame and they follow the same audio as to what's going on but they've completely redone them as CGI, not not using in-game graphics, and they look beautiful. So ah. they're so well done. Yeah, so that that's like an actual re remaster then. Hmm. Yeah. So this is where these come in. Not that, but. Listen, what did you what did you just do? So I can take that. And then we can drop down. Chief, Bravo 22 was bringing some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Skybox with the uh, the planet. I hit with every single shot of them, but the fucking jackal shield covered it. Now then, Blue, there's a new weapon over here. A new weapon? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Large. <laughs> Ow. You little bastard. Oh, giving me this was a mistake. Get a piece of shit. Ducking and diving all over the place. Right. So we have now opened the door, and as the little cutscene showed, the man with the sword has come back. The man with, with vengeance. the sword. Do you remember Arby and Chief on YouTube? Oh, God, Arby and the Chief. <laughs> Jesus, that that's a blast a yes. from the past. <laughs> that would be a yes. I used to go into school talking to Tom and Mike about that. Have you seen the latest Arby and the Chief one? Fucking hell. Where they go to a wedding in Halo 3 and the chief gets 
pissed off with it and just blows everyone up. <laughs> Funny as fuck. Is it the typical, ah, let's put these characters in a domestic situation? Yeah, the, the plot of it, if you want to call it a plot, was the the two action figures of Arby and uh, Arbiter and Master Chief that this guy had came alive like Toy Story and what they liked to do was play Halo 3. Okay, that's and what they, that they had a couple. That, that's, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Completely removes a part of the landscape. Yeah, it feels a bit of a waste to use it on one person. I'm guessing you want to use it on clusters. Of people. Yeah. In theory, it should be able to take out a spirit, but not in this game. Ah, stop Whoop. shooting at me! Oh. I reloaded a little too close to that wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Glowy thing. More cutscenes! More lore! Oh! Yes, red versus blue. Red versus blue, I have seen. Red versus blue leaves a bit of a bad taste in my mouth now that I know sort of what was going on at the time. Mm. But at the time, Halo it, was, Array. it was the Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. Oh dear. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have locked my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are failsafes for this, I know. I hope they work. Ooh, okay. More ominous foreshadowing, I'm sure. continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned base. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. Thousand years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible of. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. Uh oh. This was one of the gifts I was promised. An end. Red means bad. Yeah, red is bad. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. Uh. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space, and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sensitive proximity warning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was that us? <laughs> that bad seems, stuff happening. That seems bad. That seems bad. Uh, anyway, we need to be heading. I can't remember why we came up here. Yeah, why, why did we come up here? We have to carry on, we're, don't we? Yeah, we're heading back down towards the Warhog. Which we were in. I thought we... Do we not press further on, or have we just gone the wrong way? 
No, I think we went the wrong way. Ah, fair enough. Wait, was it? Oh, it's been so long since you played number one. It has. Yeah, no, this is the bit we came to to look in the control room. We want to be down here. Because we need to head back to the initial room. Where you can get the Warthog down. Ah, yes, because that was where the, the big guy was with the swag. Yeah. And... Okay, that was not what the bit part that I interacted with, but okay. Yeah. They blew up the Halo, that's where John Halo Master Chief was born. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah! Gonna hide in here. I should probably ah! <laughs> That was well timed on my part. <laughs> there you go, he's dead! <laughs> Eyes blue. <laughs> hey, oh, he's dead as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's how you deal with that problem. <laughs> Control, Alt, Delete. Yep. <laughs> Select, Delete. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Surely is. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be I drew a graveyard layer and then I merged the layers. <laughs> merged layers. <laughs> Kick. That is a long way down. Yeah, that was a long way before we heard the thunk. It's also very dark in here as well. Jesus. Forerunners didn't have much light technology. Well, they didn't back then. Like, it, here it's like you can't see the bottom because it's just pitch black, but here you can't see the bottom because it's so far. Sneaky! You have no idea how tempted I was to just shoot him. As <laughs> <laughs> you were just sneaking up behind him. I'm fired! Cool, well, I'm all out of ammo, and all I have left is the rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's find a new gun. There's needlers around. There we go. Found a needler. <laughs> oh dear. He he he. Is. <laughs> he merged with geography. So yeah, your geography. That's what they mean in Discord. You mess with me, your geography. Barrel roll, dude. <laughs> oh, more friends. Perfectly cut screams with our main man, Spook. Yeah, it's very funny. His mic, like, auto mutes if he screams too loud, so we just end up with the perfect cut. Ring around the rosy pocket. Don't miss, Blue. Don't miss or hit the wrong one. <laughs> I don't have a pistol Blue, anymore. Don't... Oh. 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 I'll deal with it. Who are you expecting me to do it? I've got a choice of a needler or the fucking rocket launcher again. No, I missed because I bounced off the ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> it was a perfect jump as well. Just a slight nudge on the ceiling was like no. Okay, people, we got company coming. 
Incoming. Let's set the table. Engage enemy forces on the <laughs> Set the table. <laughs> It'll be easier to hold them off from inside the structure. Can you get inside? I'm gonna bring out the Negative. nice table. They're closing in too fast. Negative. Chief, you gotta find the cartographer. We'll keep him busy as long as we can. Give him hell, Marine. We'll be in a tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find that map. <laughs> you can double jump if you fire the rocket launcher at your feet. I don't know if that's this game, Vars. It is. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. Uh, you do have to. Um, you do have to get an overshield, but it oh, does cause, work. Because it'll kill you otherwise. I'm fucking lost. Yeah. I, think I just went in a circle. You did. You did. You did get confused in this game because it it will throw up a thing to say this is the way to go, but only after you've been wandering around like a dickhead for a while. Ah, of course. Yeah. Ooh, a blue one. Then you drop down here. Distant screaming. I ran out of ammo, so I had to use my fist. Fair. For a wolf, you're not very sneaky. I don't think wolves are famed for being sneaky. Oops. Well, he's dead. There. That hollow panel should activate the map. Boop. Touch. It's a swikel. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Uh oh. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Affirmative. Full hammer out. I think the way we get back up is up here. Yeah, this is the actual, like, corridor doorway. The way we came down is we basically jumped. Yeah, we kind of did. And then we boot the door off its hinges and we go in the... And we hit with three of those bullets. Yeah, I'm kind of realising with the needler for the shield guys, I need to not aim at them, but kind of like aim to the side so the bullet like goes round. Learning. Other, again, the other gun I have is the rocket launcher, so I'm not going to use that. Steal someone's gun. A couple of dead bodies over here. Oh. Yep. Two more levels to go to the good stuff. Ooh. I'm trying to remember which level. I don't remember the order that these ones go in there. Music's cool. It is! Hello had some very good music.
I think I do. I think I know which one. What the hell? Who's hiding in there? In this little nook. A little hidey hole. The little corridor he's got himself there. Uh, we're trying to get back to the surface. Which means going upwards, Ugh. generally. Oop, bit of light popping in there. Uh, <laughs> where you have you gone? Up? Yeah, I lost sight of you. Where have you gone? I'm, I'm freaking lost again. I think, I think I heard the sound of his skull breaking then. Yeah. Whoa, Jesus! Forgot about him. Forgot about him for a second. <laughs> this is a well timed grenade, though. You forgot about him. It's alright, he's already dead. Uh, right, yeah, this is where we. This is where we start. Always good to have a sticky grenade on hand just in case you walk into something unpleasant. <laughs> very, very tr trigger happy on the grenade button, aren't you, love? I love grenades. Because you get so many of them. You get eight. It's great. Uh oh. Roger. On my way. Oh, hello. Ow, ow, ow. When you overcharge the pistol and fire, you don't have to be dead onto the enemy. Good thing I can't aim for shit when I'm not using a sniper, apparently. Did you get it? Maybe we can just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Aha, uh -huh, that works. He just blew a hole in his chest. <laughs> Good. Hello. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Big untextured disc. Yeah. <laughs> right, that is probably where we'll leave. Yeah? Because this mission is long. Ah, okay. This is a good mission, but it's a long one. What are you trying to sniff through a gas mask? Survive that. Get out of it. 
Oh, come on, we, you said that we were stopping and you're acting like we're going to play the level. No, we're not playing the level. This is a really long level because it's got machines in it <laughs> that you can drive. It's very fun. Very good mission. But um, it is a long one, so we should leave it for next time. Damn, she said he can't turn on a, on a dime, but she is getting through there. I can't see her anymore. Yeah, she's gone now. Oh. Could you actually see her for a bit? Yeah, for a minute she was. She was actually get flying down there. Oh, huh. That's good. Cool little detail. Eh! Yeah, that's, that's fun. I'm enjoying playing this. It's good. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having fun. Where are you going? I didn't know if it would be your kind of game. I don't know. I'm just don't look around. Like, is there shit around here? Secrets. Because there's a lot of this level that's been sort of modelled in. Considering you're meant to go through that door. Yeah. And you land there, in front of the that. door. Just really wanted to emphasise of like, this is a big place. Hmm. Okay. No, okay. Alrighty then. Hey! Here we go, guys. That's been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming as always. Uh hope to see you guys. Uh what are you doing? Technically this counts as a vehicle, it just has a, it's a vehicle with no movement, that's why it has physics. <laughs> so you can take it through the level with <laughs> Okay, sure. I mean you can get in it and you can be like Uh... Bye, everybody. And there you go. Bye, everybody. Have a good evening. Whatever it is uh, you get up to. I'm going to be working on uh, more texturing tomorrow. And uh, if you haven't seen, the uh, weekly event has been made in the Discord. It's going to be VR chat again this week. Uh, remember to join the VR chat group because we will be utilizing the group to make the instance. Make sure you do that by clicking on the link. Wah! We're gonna go right into a friend. Sam is streaming. I haven't seen Sam stream in forever, so we're gonna go say hi. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you get up to, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye! Bye everyone!